Well, good morning, and here we are again for our NPN uh, weekly Zoom call. I'm uh, delighted to be able to be joined by my friends uh, Lisa and Jenny. They say that when you've done something once, it becomes a bit of a tradition, but uh, Carl, our CEO, is still uh, away uh, on holiday. He's back uh, tomorrow, so uh, uh, the three of us are, are back together again in order just to continue to to, to join you to, to pray and, and to share together. Um, and so I'm delighted to be able to have uh, this conversation with uh, uh, my friends again this morning. As we open up, because we're going to think a little bit about neighbours, I, I don't know why that would su surprise us because we have a, a ministry called the, the Neighbourhood uh, Prayer Network. Um, I'd just love us just to uh, invite uh, Je uh, Jenny, if you're, you're, you're able, just to open us in prayer that as we have this conversation this morning that those who are watching us, those who are, are joining us, um, would, would see and hear God speaking to them as they, as they listen to, to this conversation. So, uh, Jenny, would you open us up in prayer? Yes, thank you. Uh, Father, I thank you for the Neighbourhood Prayer Network and our friendship and journey together, discovering, Lord, how you want to serve in our communities and fulfilling that call, Lord, to love you with all our hearts, but also to love our neighbours as ourselves. So, Lord, we just ask you that through our talking together today and re reaching out into the communities that um, you've placed us all, Lord, that the, the love that you have for us and for our neighbours, that in some way that we'll be able to stretch our hearts and to um, embrace more lord and to learn more about our communities learn more about our neighbors and help us by you touching us as individuals lord that we would learn how to speak about you and to discover more about you that we can share with our neighbors so show us how to love our neighbors lord how to love ourselves how to bring forgiveness in our neighborhoods how to convey your love and compassion and your mercy and how to experience that in ourselves and in our own homes too, Father. So please help us, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, we're seeing the Facebook group, uh, which some of you will be uh, watching this conversation on. Others of you, you will be watching it on YouTube. And we are seeing that the Facebook group uh, for the Neighbourhood Prayer Network continue to grow. So. Uh, for those of you who are joining our Wednesday uh, time together uh, for the first time, well, just let us say uh, welcome. Let us just say welcome. And it's good that you're able uh, to, to join us. And it's not necessarily for your benefit that uh, we're recording this call uh, today uh, to think about neighbours, but actually it's because we think that God is wanting to, to re-challenge us as we move forward to think about neighbours and as I say, the ministry that promotes Christians to to adopt the NPN way to pray every day, to care every week, and to share every month. We just think that this is vastly important now more than ever, particularly as we begin to move forward uh, from the easing of, of lockdown restrictions. Uh, Saturday just gone uh, was known either as Super Saturday, the day when uh, people can go out for the first time to go to the pub, to go to the playground, to go to different places uh, for the first time. Things starting to return to normal. Indeed, in other places, it was called Independence Day. I don't know what it was look, looking like uh, for you in, in your community. But as a ministry, we've become very much aware that as we move forward, we need to not forget uh, what God's been saying to us over these uh, recent months and so uh, we as a ministry hang all of our work on that principle of calling Christians to love their neighbour that's essentially what the neighbourhood uh, prayer network way is. I want us just to uh, start as we move into our first time of prayer to be reminded that although for some this is about getting back to normal and there's lots of people who just really can't wait there are also those who, and it may well be you who's watching, maybe a member of your family, who's feeling slightly anxious about uh, the future and how we uh, move forward. And so it'd be good uh, 
Lisa, if I can invite you, you just to to lead us in a time of prayer, uh, just to to pray um, for those in our communities who are feeling slightly anxious about uh, some of the developments that we are having as, as lockdown uh, lockdown uh, restrictions begin to ease. So, Lisa, can I ask you to to lead us in prayer for that? Let us pray. Father God, I thank you that you are God, Lord. At this time, um, for many it is an uncertain time, a difficult time, and an anxious time. And uh, you invite us to bring all uh, those things that concern us to you. Um, that uh, by prayer and petition to present our requests before you. And Lord, I, I just want to pray for every person who will see this at some point, Lord. You know what's going on in their lives, Lord. Uh, you know their journey. And Lord, I just pray that you would be, draw very close to them and be with them um, in, in every day, in every situation they face, Lord. I pray you would be with them. I pray there'll be others there to, to journey each day uh, in some way with them, Lord. So Father God, I just want to pray that you would... Um, make a way where it seems difficult that you will help them or the choices and decisions that need to be made um, and they would just feel you very close to your love your comfort your peace your presence uh, i pray for provision where there needs to be provision father god and i pray for vision where there needs to be vision father god lord so we look to you uh, that in this lord you will work for your glory even though at times it is incredibly difficult Father God, when people are troubled, Lord, and I pray that we would be able to be there for neighbours as well, who are also struggling in different ways, um, that we would be there as a friend, that we would be there to help, and there, um, to listen, Father God. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I wonder whether we're able to just reflect uh, for a bit, just in terms of thinking about our own neighbourhood. I'm sure uh, as you're joining us, you might want to just think about what your neighbourhood looks like as a result of uh, the, the new uh, neighbourliness that existed as a result of lockdown. Uh, Jenny, I'm going to come to, to you if you, you, you don't mind. What does, what's, what's your street uh, been like as a result of uh, COVID-19? Have we seen a, a greater sense of neighbourliness on the streets? Uh, where you are? Yes, Adam. Um, I live um, in a small village, a little hamlet actually, just uh, south of Manchester. And there are only eight houses around where I live. Uh, there are some then scattered, of course, some farms and fields, and then it's, uh, it's about a, a mile into the local village. Um, and so houses are straggled along streets or roads uh, and country roads. Uh, in our, my immediate community, <clears throat> I pray for my neighbours, um, and uh, but we, because of our the entrances to our houses being separate and etc., we hardly see you each day. But I was praying for the neighbours, thinking about setting up a WhatsApp group, and and then, which was great and. Um, some people were a little bit unsure about joining it, but then actually everyone joined from our eight houses. And through that, we've been able to not only tell people about shops that were open or if you, we also to share things. So someone was growing tomatoes, so we shared tomatoes. Someone had an excess of eggs delivered, and so eggs were shared between us. Um, just really ways, and, and then we, we actually sat out on the grass, uh, on the grass verge when it was VE day and, and sat and actually we were only going to be there for an hour but in fact we, we met together at about half past one and we were still there at half past six. So socially distanced but all out together and it was so liberating and freeing. And my son lives in a town which is nearby and they have a close uh, and in which uh, the, the neighbours have been clapping for carers and, and sharing. They've all shared their WhatsApps as well. They've been um, I was at a party just for my grandchildren that was just in the street just last weekend and the neighbours were all saying how Covid virus had, had brought them together, how 
um, and, and there were people, with, quite elderly people living in the street and some of the younger ones had gone to find them, to just bring them and sit them, walk with them down the street, sit on a chair, um, distance, but bring them a cup of tea. And the community was just very touching. I feel touched that I'm speaking about it actually, because it was uh, so lovely. So I think different community settings have been able to really pull together um, in a remarkable way. And these are things that everyone does not want to lose. The, the people I've spoken to want this neighbourliness and caring for one another to uh, not to go away. And I think that uh, provides a bit of a challenge for us uh, within the, the NPN network uh, to make sure that we do keep going, particularly, Geneva, as you say, in your own community. I'm sure it's in, uh, mirrored in, com uh, in communities up and down the land. You then go, we want this sense of neighbourliness uh, to continue. We have united, as you say, around the, the clap for carers. We've united around the day. We've united around lots of other things. Mm -hmm. But actually, we want that. We want that uh, to continue. Lisa, I know as I, as I turn to you, um, I remember us talking back at the, the beginning of lockdown about the the challenge that you uh, found um, in your own neighbourhood. So let me just to share a little bit of your own uh, journey. Because I think it's encouraging for, for people to hear that even when you can be working in a ministry like NPN, it's not always easy. Is it? No, it isn't. And um, well, uh, yes. Yeah, so at the beginning of COVID, uh, I just had a stirring in my heart that um, I should be doing something with my neighbours. Um, I, I went to a, a women's. It was one of the last gatherings in our church. We were sort of even then being very careful. Um, a women's gathering, and uh, while I was there, I was talking to someone. I said, "I, I really love to do something." But if I was honest with you, I was quite fearful. Um, I think there was a bit of a sense of a fear of rejection. I didn't know how to go about it. Um, and I hadn't actually thought of a WhatsApp group at that point, to be honest. And it was someone there who actually said to me, um, God doesn't want you to have this fear. Let me pray with you. <laughs> so that was lovely. So she prayed with me not to have this fear um, and, and said, well, why don't you set up a WhatsApp group and invite people? So as I walked home afterwards, I just felt the Lord was saying to me, be not afraid, I'm with you. And, 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 and as I walked back, I also felt him saying, um, handwrite um, an invite to me on the WhatsApp group, um, handwrite the envelopes with the words dear neighbour on the front, and post it through the doors of every home. And actually, my street had two cul-de-sacs as well, so I felt it should be for the cul-de-sac as well because you know I felt they were meant to be part of it so um, it took a long time um, and I just I think my, my hand was sort of like a, a bit achy by the end of it but I did it I even chose different coloured envelopes and I prayed over them and then I went and delivered them and if I'm honest with you I still felt a bit nervous doing it but it was almost like I just knew God was in it and that made that difference for me to get on with it and I really didn't know if anyone was going to respond and then Gradually, these texts started pinging in and um, saying, wonderful idea, we would love to be part of it. And so a load of neighbours from all the three streets um, joined this WhatsApp group. And it's been such a blessing, um, you know, a bit like what Jenny has shared. We've just shared sort of where we can get hold of food when we needed to at that point. Um, there have been people who've been shielding on our street and we've um, supported them in different ways. Um, and one of, the, one of them actually did a marathon in his garden. And, uh, Actually, uh, we we donated, well, we, we collected, well, I collected food for the local food bank, you know, because he said, he contacted me and said, I'd like to have something motivating me. Um, and I prayed about it and I thought that was what God was asking. So I was, because it was at that point a very intense moment of, of lockdown, I, I wasn't sure if people would be able to give that much, but the generosity was just overwhelming at the point that we've been about two or three days, I, I had to take it to the food bank because it was filling up my house. Um, so I thank God for those moments of, of extreme generosity and kindness. Uh, people delivered things to post boxes. We sent the PPE equipment down to Devon um, to one of our neighbours' daughters who had, had surgery there. Just things like that, everyday things, which actually at that point people were taking 
you know, it was quite a new thing, but quite intense, and people were really thinking carefully about what they were doing within the government guidelines. And, and we had a brilliant V day, and um, with people having, you know, sitting on their front gardens and chatting, and obviously remote distancing and clapping for carers and saying hello to neighbours. So it's all been a, a wonderful time, um, and, and sometimes just the funny um, little posts on the WhatsApp group that have just helped us. I mean, needed that laugh and um something different in, in the rhythm of our day so I, I do thank god um but yes i think i'm a bit of an introvert maybe others who watch this are a bit of an introvert um and with different types of personalities out there but you know um god you know as we look to god he works through our weakness and he it's, it's, it's always like that um our hearts being strangely warmed there comes a point where we do step out because god has there's something then that helps us find that boldness a bit like the other womb experience to do what he's asking and, and we are able to do things so just for encouragement to share thanks Abby. thank you uh Lisa. a real encouragement there i i do remember when we when we did it in our own uh streets it was kind of two streets for, for, for us and I, I remember getting a phone call from uh, a neighbor who rang me up and said is that adam yes this is adam this is and it wasn't a neighbor i knew and uh she said um i really hope i don't have to ring you again i hope this is the only time i ring you and i said uh okay she said i just want to say thank you for that sense of putting that note through the door as i say i hope i don't have to ring you i've got family that live nearby um, who will hopefully be able to help so I hope I don't have to ring you again, but just to know that you're there is uh, is enough for me. And that just stays with me, that, that sense of, of knowing that even if people haven't needed to, to engage in some of the times when we put things out to our letterboxes, that, that the fact that it's been appreciated, even if it's not necessarily been, been acted upon. And I, I, I get that sense that, uh, neighbourhoods uh, and the temperature of neighbourhoods, which is something we at MPN uh, are regularly talking about, has, has really changed over uh, this lockdown. And I just want to encourage you, if you're watching this, as I say, on the Facebook page, uh, we'd love to hear your stories. Um, you can put those in the, the comments below, or if you don't want to, then do send it either to myself or to, to Lisa. Uh, and we'd love to just hear some of the stories, because I think God's doing some amazing things. And as a a ministry that wants to encourage other people. Uh, we'd love to share your stories of what God's been doing in your community. I'm going to ask Jenny to, to pray uh, again, and I, I'm going to, we've got, we've got two prayer points. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Jenny to pray the first and Lisa to pray uh, the second. So I'd love us, uh, Jenny, if you're up to just praying um, and giving thanks really for all the things that we have done, not that we pat ourselves on the back, but just to, to give thanks that God uses us to be part of, of, of being part of his mission. As we were talking about before we clicked record, we had a, a good conversation there, Jenny, Lisa and I, about that important thing about we're acting as God's servants. And so I just wanted to give thanks uh, for that. And then uh, Lisa, I'd love us, if we just pray for, for us to pray for those who, who have stepped forward, those who have stepped forward. And, and I'm constantly feeling that push of God. So I'm going to just uh, be quiet for a short time and we're going to have a time of prayer. I'm going to ask you, uh, Jenny to pray for us first and then Lisa. So friends, I invite you, if you're able to, to join along in praying along with us. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for the community spirit that has... Um, being engendered across the nation, Lord, at the time of crisis, Lord. Uh, we thank you for clapping for carers and we thank you, Lord, for the appreciation that we have all experienced, Lord, of, of those who have kept the shops open and, that, and for initiatives with our neighbourhoods and how people have done, a friend of mine's a friend on their, na their street did keep fit every morning at 11 and things to help us Lord to cope during this time to build sustainability and stability in our communities and that this Lord would would stay with us that the good things that have happened 
and the communication and relationships father that have been built up in communities father would be steadfast that there will be um, a real growth of concern for one another and love in our communities and thank you for using us lord to pray for our neighbors and for the joy of being able to serve our neighbors and care for them and also to be able to see people coming into action themselves spontaneously uh, whether they know you or not to share love to do shopping for people to be considerate for one another lord we just know you as father and long for everyone to know you as, as father and as we almost our communities could be behave more as a family with people being together to support one another and so lord as we go out of lockdown and there are difficulties ahead that you'll still stir people to care about their neighbors someone's losing their job or someone's bereaved and suddenly is unwell with covid virus or something else lord because of delays of being able to go into hospital lord that we would be just watching over one another and that your holy spirit will move in that in all our hearts and all the people across the nation lord to love one another as you have loved us thank you father in Jesus' name we pray Amen. 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 Father God, I just want to thank you for every person who has um, responded to the leading of your Holy Spirit in this um, difficult time, Lord, um, um, all the different expressions of care and witness um, and just sharing your love in so many different ways. Um, just thank you for those who are um, involved with food banks. Um, thank you for them. Thank you for those who have given to food bank. Thank you, Lord. Thank you um, for those who have supported people who have been shielding. Um, uh, thank you, Lord, for people who've been sharing just um, different ways to, um, you know, get food or, um, you know, um, have, where, where just little local knowledge things that have made a huge difference to people's lives. And thank you for the laughter and the humour. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for those who have, you know, as they've been um, exercising, um, just said hello and stopped and said, how are you? Thank you, Lord, just for just those moments of just appreciating um, those that we live amongst, Father God. I just want to thank you. But uh, Lord, I also want to pray for those who, um, it has not been easy for one, and I just want to pray that, um, you know, those who may feel they've missed the moment, uh, Lord, that you would just um, just give them more moments um, and that there'll be more opportunities to get to know their neighbours from this place, Lord. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that, that actually it's not late, too late, that there will be things that you will lead them to do in the future, Father God, as you give them that sort of vision and opportunity so i just thank you for all you've been doing i give you the glory and i just pray that all those seeds sown in people's lives will bear fruit and that many will come to know you jesus amen, amen. amen. where does the time go we're coming up to nearly 25 minutes uh, wow. uh, just just as, as, as since 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 we prayed that prayer last week about the fact that it would just be uh, three friends uh, stopping to pray and to reflect together. The time just always seems to, uh, to, to, to to go away. We've got loads of other things we could uh, talk about. I think we could we could keep doing these forever. I think we do need to say to Carl, he doesn't need to come back. It's just <laughs> the three of us uh, kind of indefinitely. Um, but I, I, I do want to, to just pick up on a couple of things um, before we close. Um, if you are on the Facebook group and you haven't signed up to take spiritual responsibility for your street yet you know npm is not a ministry that seeks just to grow data for the sake of growing data we actually believe that when you sign up your street it's about putting a stamp in the ground a stake in the ground and saying i want to take spiritual responsibility for the street that i live on i want to adopt those values of praying every day for the people i know to care every week and to share uh, God's good news every month. And so if you haven't signed up yet to uh,
become part of the family officially, then let me encourage you to do so today. What we're talking about is part of God's plan as we move forward as uh, God's people to take spiritual responsibility for our community. We see that temperature that we've been praying into, that stuff that we start to see being a reality during uh, this lockdown, start to, 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 to take more and more prevalence. And so let me encourage you to go to our website, uh, neighbourhoodprayer.net, and find, click on the register tab and fill in all the details there. And we'd love you to become part of this family. I don't know if you uh, spotted it, ladies, that uh, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has, uh, in this last week or so, appointed an advisor to look at the contribution that uh, faith groups and voluntary sector groups make to the well-being of community. Mm. And it's very interesting that the, the, the person that the Prime Minister's appointed happens to actually be uh, an evangelical Christian and an MP that's quite open about his faith. And so I'd love us, because we have all prayed for political leaders in our previous conversation, uh, and also this last week we've had the, uh, the, the National Prayer Breakfast, and if you didn't watch that, let me encourage you to go back and watch that. Over 15,000 people uh, have now watched this uh, year's National Prayer Breakfast, where uh, Carl, who is our CEO, counted there were uh, seven or eight references to the importance of good neighbours during uh, the, the, the message that uh, Bishop Graham brought. I'd love us just to, to pray uh, for, 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 for Danny, who is the MP, uh, Danny Kruger, who is who, who's picking that up, just to pray for him. Because, you know, the church isn't about wanting to uh, make a holy song and dance about what it does, just for the sake of creating a holy song and dance and saying how good we are. But I think there's something about the fact that uh, faith communities, the Christian community in particular, of what we've done during this period of lockdown. And so I'd love, uh, just for the conversations and for that piece of work that's been done uh, by Danny uh, and by the team uh, at the Department for Culture, Media and Sport, which has the responsibility for undertaking an audit of civil society. I'd love it just to, to pray in and around that uh, as we come towards the end of our, our conversation this morning. So, uh, I don't know which uh, which 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 of my lovely which of my lovely friends I'm going to ask to, to pray in for that. You know what? I'm going to take a, a, a punt and I'm going to go Lisa. Would you uh, pray uh, for for Danny and for, for the team and and also just for for kind of political leaders that they would start to continue the relationships uh, that they've made with uh, with the church and faith community during this time. Lisa, I'm going to hand it over to you. Awesome. Let's pray. Lord, I just thank you for Danny um, and I thank you for the team that will be with him. Um, Lord, um, I also thank you for um, all the different um, opportunities that have come through these difficulties and challenges um, where there's been a real recognition of um, you know, how the faith uh, communities have been um, responding on the ground and that sense of um, uh, wanting to to actually have more conversations and to um, just explore how um, the, the, those, those sort of uh, connections can um, build up communities and neighbourhoods Lord I just thank you for what you're doing um, and I just pray your blessing upon Danny Lord in, uh, in this role Lord just really pray Lord that you will just give him great wisdom and discernment um, I just pray, Lord Jesus, that there will be real vision, um, you know, that will come um, to our government through those on the ground as, as they connect with him. Lord, I just want to pray for um, him to be a prophetic voice even in your time and your way, um, in, in these times we're in, right into the heart of government, Lord Jesus. Um, and, and we just pray, Lord, that you will make a way for him to actually have that voice for those who have no voice, Lord, and that there will be change of policy and that there will be an impact for good 
uh, in our nation. Uh, and we pray for that for all politicians who believe and trust in you. I just pray your blessing upon them, your, your, that you will lead them and direct them, and that they will have opportunities to witness to their colleagues, Lord, that others will come to faith too. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, uh, Lisa. We are just at about the 30 minute mark, which is what we uh, normally do to, uh, to meet together as a team of and family. So I'm not going to go uh, much beyond uh, the 30 minute mark, not least because I'm scared of the fact that uh, Carl will uh, ed edit us out. And it was, uh, some, some, some good stuff in the conversation that we had. But I do just want to, to, to say that uh, we, we are hearing that churches um, are feeling a little bit of reticence about the reopening of churches despite government announcements. And so uh, just to assure you that if you are a church leader, uh, NPN is praying for you at this time as you uh, begin to, to, to navigate how you might reopen. But uh, we'd love just to, to drop uh, the seed now. Um, you will remember that if you watched the, the conversations on uh, community footprints uh, during uh, our week of prayer uh, a week or so ago, uh, we spoke to our friend Carl Knightley from the, the Christian uh, charity Faith in Later Life. And you'll know that uh, MPN and uh, Faith in Later Life partnered last year on uh, a project called Neighbour Sunday. Uh, and we're doing that again. Um, we're kind of still... Uh, praying and teasing out the details of what God wants us to do. But I'd love it just to, to put that date uh, in your diary now. If you're a church leader, if you're a member of a local church, uh, to, to put that date in your diary now. Sunday, the 18th of October, 2020. We're still working out what that means uh, because there'll be churches that will have gone back and uh, be doing Sunday worship. There'll be those that will still be staying online. So we just need to think about how we can uh, best serve the church through through uh, Neighbour Sunday, but I'd love uh, just to, to encourage you to, to put that date in your diary now and just keep watching uh, your emails and watching the Facebook group and watching uh, the various materials that we, we put out. Uh, if you haven't seen about uh, Neighbour Sunday, then uh, without going into lots of detail, let me just encourage you to go to our website uh, for Neighbour Sunday, neighborsunday.com, neighborsunday.com find out some of the, the things from last year's uh, conversation. Well, we are going to draw our time together to a close, uh, but I just want to thank again uh, Lisa Hutt, uh, NPN's uh, Director of Prayer Ministry uh, for joining us, and uh, Jenny Bailey, uh, our acting uh, Chair of Trustees for, for joining us. It's been good to have done uh, these uh, two weeks together, so thank you for, for, for being with us and, and leading us in, in prayer. Jenny, as we come to close, because you, you do this um, most weeks when we gather together uh, as a, a church, uh, as a network family, I'd love just you to lead us in, in the Lord's Prayer. So friends, if you are, wherever you are, if you're able to, I invite you to uh, say the words of the Lord's Prayer uh, as uh, Jenny leads us. Father, thank you that you love us and that you call us all by name as your family and your children. Whether we know you or know you not, Lord, that you are our Father, and you love us all. And so, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and lead us not into temptation. As we give you that thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much in, indeed, Jenny, uh, for closing our time together. And friends, uh, look forward to hopefully uh, being back on Zoom um, as well as Facebook Live uh, next month. But we keep an eye out uh, for uh, information about what we're doing next week. Uh, but have a really blessed week until uh, we're back together again. And uh, May you continue to serve uh, and love your neighbours as God leads. Have a great day. Amen. Amen.